Clarksville, Tennessee. Uh, that's definitely why I dwell. That's definitely why I represent Tennessee to the fullest every day, all day. I bleed Tennessee, but uh, definitely in Atlanta now, showing much love to the ATL because they showing much love back. But you know, straight from Tennessee, represent all day. Well, shoot, Mike Mike the artist, you know, for one thing about Mike Mike that initially drew me in as a producer and as a businessman is he's very versatile. You know what I'm saying? Sometime on some of his songs, people be like, who is that? On E Street Versus, you know what I'm saying? Because he switch it up. He ain't the same. You ain't going to know what he's going to say next. You can tell that he really put, you know what I'm saying, a lot of work in his craft. And then he can just about jump on, like, any type of track. He ain't messed up with doing a song about this. It ain't got to be like, you know, let's just go kill somebody. And, you know, even when he is on the street level, it's more reality. You know, it ain't no 50 keys. It's, you know, I'm trying to get through the day. It's real, you know, or whatever, you know, he, he doing him. And that's what I like about it. the reality of his music. He take uh, good craft in it and his delivery is definitely on point. You know what I'm saying? He's a complete artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like a star because, you know, I, I am a star where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? And I am an entertainer, so this is what entertainment is all about, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. This is not a game. We are for real, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, you know what I'm saying? Five records. Uh. Man, Mike Mike, the artist, is, is uh, you know, an entertainer that enjoys to make quality music. Mike Mike, the artist, is not just your typical everyday rapper. Mike Mike, the artist, is, is a lyricist. Mike Mike the artist is a writer, you know, I believe that hip hop has lost its whole ambition, hip hop has lost a lot of its whole drive because a lot of, you know, artists nowadays don't know how to bring that whole hip hop flavor back, you know, back from, you know, uh, everybody from Run DMC to, you know, uh, everybody. Uh, they were really making that quality music because that's something I want to bring back, have a message in my music. So Mike Mike the artist is, you know, just based on versatility and letting everybody know that, uh, you know, you don't have to be just stuck in one mind state. You know, you can actually be, you know, versatile and, you know, you can actually reach out to a whole nother crowd, a whole nother fan base that you never thought that you can reach. You know, for instance, Kanye West, you know, Tupac, you know, I want to be an artist remembered like that, you know, for not just my street abilities, but also for my abilities to just, you know, make quality music. So that's what Mike Mike the Artist is all about. You know, all they really show is the glamour life side of this, but in actuality, you know, it's, it's definitely a work process. You know, there's no sleep in this. You know, it's 24 hours a day. You, you out here, you doing different things. You know, like this photo shoot showed you today. I mean, this is hours and hours of work. Uh, the average person probably couldn't sit around and take no pictures at Walmart for an hour, let alone a couple hours switching outfits. And, you know, you just gotta, it's just work, man. And a lot of people don't have that work ethic or can, can even just have the patience to do it but um it's hard as far as the streets is concerned getting out here with the street team you know attacking every city every club doing shows networking politicking with people you know and, and it's it's a down point and then you know once you get past that down point as long as you still gonna survive as long as you still a true worker you gonna overcome it and I mean you see where we at right now, we don't went from the hard grind mode, the street mode and all of that to creating the buzz to, you know, getting this independent deal with five records and, you know, with their professionalism and, you know, and their guidance and everything and this whole Mike Mike project, you know, they putting everything in position to get done. And now, you know, all we got to do is get it done and just take this all to the next level and, you know, tell all the major labels on thing. I want to hear and the only thing Fire Record probably want to hear is cut the check, home. Huh? You know what I'm saying? That's the whole reason for this mixtape. Make sure you get that. Mike the Grind. I mean, just, you know, uh, the average cat wouldn't think that an artist coming up would actually be out here selling his own product. A lot of people think as soon as you get any type of deal, it's going to be all kind of people out here selling the stuff for you. You don't have to go nowhere. You don't have to do nothing but sit up in your crib and wait on phone calls. Nah, that's what they, it's not going to happen like that. Mike Mike's grind is in everybody's face at any given moment, talking to any and everybody. I don't care if you Mexican, Korean, black, white. I don't care if you old, young crippled straight it don't matter who you are what you do 
I would try to sell you a CD. The shirt She's about to put the shirt on the inside. Now look, world see this. This ain't me. So when y'all see this, hey, just know, this is all a part of the image, baby. I want the kids to buy my records too. I don't know what y'all trying to do. Five years from now, Mike Mike is gonna be an icon in this rap game. Like, Mike Mike is gonna be the quickest artist to ever just blow and be an icon at the same time. Like, a lot of cats can blow up, but it'll probably take them 15, 20 years to become an icon. I, I believe with, with my lyrical abilities and my writing talents that I'm gonna become an icon in about five years just for my personality, the way I know how to reach out to people. You know, a lot of people can't just be people people and go around, you know, the world or different states and, you know, people can't just appeal to everybody. I got that uniqueness about me that you know you can put me anywhere you can put me in a suit and a tie in a briefcase and tell me go speak business with all these professional corporate people and I can do that or you could put me in the hood with some work and tell me grind hard and get it how I live and I can do that you know so five years from now I believe I'm definitely gonna be an icon uh, in the rap game and I'm gonna make a statement everybody's gonna know Mike Mike and they gonna have no choice but to respect Mike Mike You know, I'm here to change the game. You know, this is the newness. This this is the new hotness. This is what everybody needs to get up on. And you know, you can be the last one to get up on it, or you can be the first one to get up on it. But if I was you, I would be the first one to get on it. Cause you know, you're gonna be looking crazy when you're the last one jumping on it. Talk about, you know what I'm saying, who was Mike Mike? You should have been did your whole work, homie. You know what I'm saying? In the meantime, between time, when you see this little CD right here, you know what I'm saying, this is a little I got this, this ain't cut the check. You know what I'm saying? But if you see this, you're gonna find cut the check. Check it out, you know what I'm saying? We got Fade Eastwood on there. We got a little bit of everybody, Street Cinema Productions, you know what I'm saying? Then we got the single What's Crackling, you know, that's for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? It's real good music for the, you know, little youngsters. They're gonna love to do the motorcycle, the Superman and all that to it. But cut the check, you know what I'm saying? It's coming real soon. Www. FiveRecords.com, not five chords, five records, F-I-R-E-C-O-R-D-S.com. You know what I'm saying? You can get the rest of the information from that. Hold on, we'll be coming to a city near you. I know I'm talking a lot, you know what I'm saying? But as you see, I ain't got that much camera time, so I got to take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? We're coming to a city near you, Birmingham, the South, Tallahassee, Florida. Look for Mike Mike. You're going to see it. You can't miss it. Five Records Street Cinema, and we out. Ah. Right.